Yeah. Right, back to back recording going on here once again, guys. Uh, yeah, welcome back to a new video. As you can tell, I'm still at Graham's. This time, the Corolla, which is very, very dirty, is now under the uh, knife. Is that the right saying? I don't know. Spanners, knives, well, I don't flipping know. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's flip the camera around and uh, I'll show you what we're doing today. <laughs> So today, guys, we have got a huge bunch of goodies. We have got a new horn, because my horn actually does not work on this car anymore. Um, I don't know why, it just randomly died. So I've got a new supposed truck horn. I don't know if it is a truck horn or not. I've got a genuine Toyota PCV valve, because my one is leaking. And I've also got the crankcase pressure valve as well, which is leaking. Um, so we're going to look at that as well today. And I've got a box of discs and pads all round from MTech. These are the drilled and grooved discs with MTech pads. So that's what we're getting on today. At the moment, Graham's just loosening off my nuts. Or bolts, rather, because my car's normal. No, this is nuts. <laughs> oh, no, this is nuts, yes. Oh, it's not even Friday. <laughs> I did that earlier at work, right? I said something stupid or did something stupid. I can't even blame it on the fact that it's Friday because it's not. It's Wednesday. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Right, so doing the front brakes first, and as you can see, the front wheels are off. Um, and it's quite a straightforward task. You've got one caliper and carrier. Yep. If you're just changing the pads, you want to take off the two bolts on the caliper, pull it out of the way, uh, wind the piston back in. If you're doing the uh, discs as well, Sometimes you have to take the carrier off, yeah, which would be an additional two bolts, yeah. But, but if you're lucky, you can get the disc off without having to take all the carrier off. So it's, it is a relatively straightforward job, uh, it's just not one that I'm 110% confident we're doing. Um, now with these brakes, they're a bit weird because this side I'm expecting to have like no pad left whatsoever. Um, but the other side, I'm expecting to have decent pads, but I know that it's heavily scored on the disc. Um, I think that side caliper was previously seized, but thankfully I have got it unseized, so it does work now. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm expecting to see, so uh, I'm not going to film too much of the undoing process and all that, because, well, you guys should know how to change brakes. Um, but once they're all out, I'll show you what it looks like. Right. Now... These are the pads out of the shagged pad side, not shag pad. Um, so this is the one that's on the front. As you sort of take the wheel off, this is what you see. It's low, but it has worn quite nicely and evenly. So this one ain't too much of a concern to me, to be fair. It actually looks all right. Uh, it does seem a bit shiny there, though, so a bit questionable. But this, this is the one that's behind the hub. And uh, as you can see, the material's broken away. It is very, very, very thin. And I reckon this is the one that's primarily been squeaking. That is absolutely yeah, it's knackered. Got the wear on it. Has it? Yeah, if you. Um, this bit here, this metal bit here. Oh, okay. When the pad gets low. Yeah. That squeaks to tell you. Looks like it might have been rubbing a bit. Yeah. So, I knew that this side was going to be toast, but I was expecting a lot worse, to be fair. I'm not going to lie there. But, anyway, that's the uh, pads out. The disc, it, I know that the disc is burnt and horrible. Um, is it scored? Oh, yeah, have a feel, rub your thumb over that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that is horrible. I mean, you can probably, if you shine it there and look for the reflection, you can see it ripple. Okay. Yeah, you can. That is horrible. Yeah, that disc is done for, but it's good because we got nice new stuff over there. So uh, let's uh, get the disc off. All right, so Graham's cleaning up the hub. Uh, it's always nice to work with fresh surfaces. And this is the back of the disc. And now as you can see running around the outside, that looks like that was metal or metal there. It's like really shiny and really sort of <coughs> grooved and pitted. That's nasty. But we have the nice new brakes over here. 
Now, for some reason, MTEC did my front discs in a smaller box, which is uh, a bit different. Probably because of the offset of the back ones. Oh, possibly, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've got two front discs in there. So uh, let's get them out and get one on the car. Right, so we've uh, cleaned up the little shims or brackets, whatever you want to call them. Sliders. That's the one. I could have figured what that's called. Yeah, cleaned up the sliders. Uh, they're now back on. They actually look quite fresh as well, which is quite nice. They ain't very much weight dust stacked with them anymore at all. Uh, new disc is on, as you could probably tell, which looks quite nice. And uh, yeah, we're just going to pop the new pads in wherever they've got. Oh, there, right in front of me. Yeah, so. Here are the nice chunky new pads. That's what your brake pads should look like, not thin bits of paper like that. Um, so yeah, they're gonna go on and uh, that'll be one side done. All right guys, a life lesson as to why not to paint your calipers. We are struggling to fit the pads in because there is so much paint build up on the carrier that it's not allowing the pad or the sliders to uh, to sit how they should. So we're now having to try and scrape it all off and move shit about. But yeah, don't paint your uh, your calipers, especially using like seven tons of paint. It's just ridiculous. Right, and there is the first one in. So one thing I want to point out, because I've already had a comment on Facebook about these, these are not directional discs. Now, even though they've been drilled to be directional, the fins on the vent are actually straight. If they was tilted, it would make it a directional disc, but they're not, they are straight. So these are not directional discs, so don't go spamming the comment section saying you put them on the wrong way, because they're not. So then yeah, this is the, uh, the pads out the other side, and as you can see, there is a lot more girth on the pad itself, but if I can get it to focus, as you can see, Focus! As you can see, John, focus. a stone has been straight through the pad, which I already knew, and it's actually reflected on the back of the disc. This is a huge lip. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is from when the brake didn't function. Uh, it has been functioning since because I've got it unseized. Um, but, yeah, that's, uh, that's the condition of that. This is the other pad that I haven't shown you. Show, showed you? Showing you. There you go. So again, plenty of life on it. Don't actually look too bad at all. And I can actually see who the manufacturer was somewhat on there. There is a part number there somewhere. Uh, pass. Ling Long Chinas? Don't know. <laughs> it's on the back there somewhere. But yeah, so like I said, it's in way better condition, minus the disc. Um, but yeah, so it's not on... really in better condition, though, is it? There's more pad material, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I knew that was the case anyway. The caliper was seized, but like I said, it's not seized anymore, so uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so that's the front all back together. I do have to say, behind the wheels, they do look quite sick, <laughs> and then yeah, the other side is back on as well, as you can see. So yeah, the fronts are done. We're moving on to the backs now. And uh, yeah, they don't look terrible. But hey -oh. Well, at least that's one side that don't look terrible. And there's the other side. Whilst we're under here as well, we're going to adjust the handbrake because I think I've got more chance of a block of cheese holding my car. But Hey ho, it is what it is. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna crack on. All right, so first rear disc and first set of pads are out. Or should I say this is a, a disc because it's a drum and a disc. Um, and regarding the disc, as I call it, it actually don't look too bad a condition. To be fair, there's no, no, I don't know what happened there, but my phone just wanted to stop recording. Um, yeah, there's no major, uh, like scoring on it, you can't really feel it to be fair. And the pads, pads are like new, mate. Look at that, plenty of girth on them. 
Yeah, not like new. Nah, he's still got about yeah, another. Got another five years in them. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, that's the first lot off, and uh, we're looking at the handbrake as well. And it seems to be we can't adjust it from this side, so it have to be an interior job. Uh, but we're going to double check this side just to be sure. Um, but yeah, so that's the first lot off. Brad's get up. Uh, Brad, you're not Brad, you're Graham. I am. I'm getting confused now. It's it's not even Friday and I'm already making mistakes. Um, Graham is getting this side off. There we go. I got there in the end. So uh, whilst you're cleaning up the shims. Whilst I'm cleaning up the shims, which is odd to see. I was just waiting for you to say that, but I thought I'd get in there before you said it. <laughs> you see, I have been doing work. I can't do too much work because I am still in my work clothes and I can't really get them dirty. But I have been doing work. So uh, for those of you that say I don't work on my own cars, I I do. I'm just never in the right clothes for it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to clean up these shims wherever they've gone. Uh, right, where did I get to? Oh, yeah. This side rear drisk is, again... Totally fine. And as you can see, the new one is already mocked up, which looks really good. And here are the pads, which, yeah, yeah, but they're, they're new, they're new, pretty much, maybe. I don't know. They're better than the fronts, nevertheless. They were doing all the stuff then. Huh? They were doing all the stuff then. Yeah, in the end, yeah. <laughs> um, I've currently used uh, Mechanic Soap. Um, it hasn't really done much. It just makes me feel like I've bathed in WD-40. Um, but yeah, no. Everything's going all right, I suppose. So, uh, Graham's just put in the... Ow! There's a box there. And brake pads on the floor. He's just put in the uh, caliper back on. So, there we go. Again, these are not directional, don't get angry. Also, it's a rear brake, so even if they was, it don't really matter. Don't say that, race car owners are coming at you. Shh. I mean, this is a race car straight out of a Hot Wheels box. Hot Wheels <laughs> need well, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, look how dirty it is. It's, it's basically a rally car. Like... Yeah, look how dirty it is, look. No, that's just rust. Leave it alone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, everything's... Clean your wheel arches, people. What's that? Clean your wheel arches. Yeah, do that, or just ignore it like I do. <laughs> Think of your mechanics. <laughs> mechanics, save us! Um, yeah, no, it's... Uh, apart from being dirty, it's going along all right. The backs have actually been quite easy. We haven't been on them too long, so... Uh... They're not as corroded and... Horrible as the fronts, were they? No. And then all we've got is a horny honker after that. And then like a 30 second job of replacing this PCV valve. So, pretty easy day. Right, so that is all the brakes done. And it's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be weird driving it home. I'm not gonna lie there. Um, but yeah, brakes are done. So now it's onto the honky hooter, which my old one is there, as you can see. <laughs> As you can see, we've already broke it loose, uh, and then we can disconnect it from under the car, which is a good thing. Um, so that's how we're going to do that. But then this new one is actually quite big, so I don't know where we're going to put that just yet. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll suss that out. This is what can't be asked jacking the car up looks like. <laughs> but anyway, here is the new honky hooter. <laughs> Um, it comes with an electrical plug. Oh, and a relay. Oh. And it comes with whatever the fuck this is. This ain't gonna be a fit and forget thing, is it? I don't know. It's also got a built in air compressor, so it must be loud. Oh no. Have I bought the wrong thing? You've bought something. Oh, it's gonna be a bit more work. Oh no. Still do a ball war? We'll see. Okay, hopefully. Because I, I need a honky hooter. Right, anyway, let's uh, suss out what the heck we're doing with this. 
Right, so we've had a quick look, and what is it that you are considering doing? I am going to put a line onto there, line onto here, connect this end to the bodywork of the car, connect this to the original horn, and see if it will let us work it that way. Cool. Hopefully it will. So, I'm praying that this will be allowed truck type horn but i did buy it on ebay so it wouldn't surprise me if it sounded like noddy but <laughs> only time will tell right. i'm nervous but excited but it's almost time to try all this <laughs> oh god so he's just under there now and he's going to connect the positive to the old horn and the negative to the bodywork Better try. Here we go. Definitely, isn't it? Nothing. Ignition on. Nothing. Oh. For goodness sake. Okay. Might be because my round wasn't great. Okay. But it could also be that it needs that other relay in and it needs to be connected to that. Right, okay. Try that. Alright, let's give it a go. <laughs> Woohoo! I have a horn! That is cool! It's a bit gay. No, it does not. That is awesome! <laughs> I love that. Alright, so the horn is now fully mounted, as you can see. If it was focus. Please focus. Focus, John, focus. <laughs> but anyway, the horn's mounted down there onto my, like, you can see it better through the, 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 the crash bar sort of area. Like if I bring you down here, there it is. <laughs> this is so cool. We're just trying to mount the um, the earth to it now. Uh, there you go, you can see the little compressor down there. Yeah, we're just trying to mount the earth to it now and then it'll be officially on. All right, and that is that done. So new horn, new brakes, new PCV valve, all done. And, uh, on the fake race car. On the fake race car. Not the real one. Not the real one. <laughs> um, so yeah, all done. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to slap a like on it. Comment down below what you think of my new horn, because I want you to. Um, and more importantly, hit that subscribe button for more content like this. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.